Welcome back to Strategies with Sasquatch. I'm your host, Josh, and today we are playing some Green Hell. Now, this is not the beginning of my new series. This is far from it, actually. This is a, a Welcome to the Jungle. I think this might be a custom run. Oh, bless you, Willow. Anyway, some prawn is in the water. It's early morning, and I just wanted to show this off because I can't remember if I did. Okay, so I started playing again because they updated the game and they added a pottery station. So I'm just checking out my plants. I've got... Oh, now, these should be fine. As far as the fertilizer goes, it is the dry season currently. At least I think it is. <laughs> it's been a little while since I played, even though this is the more recent one. Anyway, so I've got all kinds of bananas. Oh, dear. These are all spoiled bananas, perfect fertilizer. Uh, you can also harvest them for maggots if you want. I do not need to do that, so I won't be doing that. And then I have just two more storage crates with even more. This is just uh, animal feces droppings. Those are amazing. I have so many of those. And just more fertilizer. I've got the banana plant here, and then up there is the, I forget what it's called, it's the, the green fruit. It's pretty good for fertilizer as well. Now, down here we have the cooking stations. Now, this is uh, stuff that I got from from here. So, let's see here. Oh, God. As I scroll through everything, this is the pottery station, right? So, you once you craft it, you got to get mud. Oh, do not throw that. Crouch. Where does the crouch circle? Got it. So, you, you craft mud... You harvest the mud, you get these mud bricks, you put the mud bricks in here, you put water in this. Now you can put metal iron ore in here, uh, that's for uh, for these things. You can make uh, blades, or molds, sorry, for blades, axe, armor, arrows, so on. So I just wanted to highlight this. Uh, normally you would just find a bunch of coconuts, right? You can harvest the coconuts, turn them into coconut shells, and you can cook with them. Uh, you can, there's one metal pan that you can get. Let's just, oh, it's empty. Crap. Man, <laughs> my stuff's full. Okay, it is still the dry season, so I'd have to fill that up if I wanted to. I don't really need to do that. We're at the fishing, uh, the fishing village, whatever it's called. So I've got all my storage, and of course, me being me... I wanted to build a bridge, so uh, that's what I, I built a bridge all the way across. God help me, this took so long. I'm on like day 78, and I think I spawned in this area. I've just been just messing around, Now I could build on top of these things, which was eventually the plan, but it was just to make it easier for me to go back and forth to get the, uh, the bamboo stuff. So anyway, I've got more storage here. This has charcoal from the charcoal thing. I've got spare armor. I've got these coconuts are husked, but they're full of water. And then I have another station. Hello, froggy. Over here. Oh, that's right. I built this. Oh, that's awesome. So I've got fresh water for eventually if it rains or I can empty. Oh, oh God. All the wrong, <laughs> every wrong button. There we go. These things. Okay. So the clay water bottles are the clay bottles hold just so much water and this is dirty so what I could do is just put it in there and then I can take fill that up now I've got clean water and I just rinse and repeat literally rinse and repeat just add more this will eventually drain into that now if it's a rainy season you have one of these you could fill them both up with clean water it's quite nice and then this is just spare water stuff I think this all has dirty water in it. And then I have even more bamboo. And I mean, it takes a lot of bamboo because all of that is bamboo down there. Uh, the, the trunks grow back, but the sticks do not. And so that's why I've been doing this. A little overboard, maybe, but you can only do so much by yourself, I suppose. Oh, let's shake some of these things. Now, this is not the hard mode version. I did that because, like, I... Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> 
That's a Brazilian spider. We don't... Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Likes to hang out over here. Once upon a time, I ran over to that spot. Just over... Oh, sorry. It was up there. And there was a, a friggin' caiman all the way up here. I don't know how it got up here. It was a, a significant surprise to me, but... Anyway, let's go back. Let's go back because I wanted to do the pottery stuff. I could pick all the bananas and do all the other things, and that's what I had been doing, but that's not the purpose of this specific recording. I wanted to show the process behind making this stuff. So I've got these clay pots, right? Now you can take these with you. These hold 30, uh, hydra like 30 liquids. Actually, let's check the stats. Which button is that? This one? Negative. This one? Yeah, that's the one. So, water is pretty good. I think what I'll do is push all the wrong buttons. We'll drink a little bit. Okay, so that way, my hydration is completely full. And if you go into your inventory and hover over, it shows you all those stats. So, it's a little hard to see the stats, but... 12 energy, 10 protein, 5 fats, 5 carbs, 5 sanity. This, I think, is a macaw meat. Or a toucan. One of those two. It's one of the bird meats. It's really good. If you find... Now, I'm pretty sure it's a toucan, actually. If you find one of them in your journeys, pick them up. It's the yellow bill, black feather bird. It's The meat gives you one of... It basically can fill all of those meters... Whereas, like, the macaw meat does not. It only gives uh, protein and energy, and it gives sanity because it's uh, soup. So, let's just go ahead and drink a little bit. Cool, so that only took 20 hydration, which this holds 30, so that means there's a second... Uh, whatever it's called. There's a ser second serving, yes. Okay, let's move some of these things. Oh, my God, I saved the game, and it loaded... And everything's in the wrong spot. I don't know why it does that. Let's just move everything back to where it's supposed to be because they shouldn't be separate like this. I must be have been making more clay. That's what all these ash are for. Oh, let's just get rid of this feather. It's only one. It's I need two to make an arrow. Okay, there's some more room. So that's the way I like to put that. Okay, so... I don't know why I picked that up. I'm just going to make another another one, just to show how to do it. So, if you have the water and you have those in there, you could make the stuff. So, I could hold a, a square to make a small bowl. It's essentially the same as a coconut, like half a coconut shell, or a, a coconut half shell. It holds 10 hydration, or 10 liquid whatever, and then you can make stuff with it. It's a little bit lighter, and then if I go to the next item, you have, again, the big clay bowl. Takes three empty molds and 100 water. The other one, I think, oh, crap. I think the bowl was oh, one empty mold. But then there's this, the clay bottle. Takes two empty molds and 120 water. So if we craft these, and I guess I'll just do the bowl... The big bowl, because I've got plenty of flasks. I don't really need more. So you see on the left side on the bottom, it took water and it took all of those things. But the problem is, look at the difference. So this is a big clay bowl. This is also a big clay bowl, but it says it's unbaked. So what you have to do, that actually is just storage over there. There's not even a fire in there. Uh, I've got, so these are all separated also. So this is straight up dirty water. So this is the one I've been using the most. And then I think this is, what is that, brew? It might be these things. Like, it must be some sort of carbohydrate, something like that. So those are great because they give you energy, protein, carbs, sanity. So again, sanity is from it being a soup. Like, a, it's in one of these, you cooked it, all of that stuff is in the water. So these are mushroom soups. These are the energy soups, 15 energy and again, if you can, always make sure that your hydration levels are maxed so that when you go to drink or consume these, you get an extra serving. And then this is fever. Uh, quasi 
Amara Infusion. Now I'll show you what that is. Uh, this is just another brew. This is the minus three to food poisoning, a bone infusion, which is great for fever reduction. Plus it's, you know, fats and proteins if you really need it. And then this is just another mushroom, the blue mushroom soup. Okay, so let's just move one of these. That whatever. We'll just put it on the ground for now. I don't really need it. And we'll put this thing. Okay, so anytime you make stuff out of the clay, you have to... And I forget the, the official name for what it's called. We have to bake it. So the process behind that is you just put it on a fire. And it doesn't have to be one of these fancy clay or like mud mud oven, whatever the heck these are. Come on. There you go. And just like the water, there's a timer on it. So once it finishes baking, you can use it. And you can place it down like in a water collector or, you know, make your soups and put them elsewhere. Or you could carry it. It is kind of heavy. So I'm at 33.4 and I lift it and it's 30.7. So that's... Oh, goodness. That's what? 2 point seven kilograms or whatever that weight property is it's kind of heavy it is clay so i'm assuming the metal bowl like the the metal pot might be not as heavy i don't know now if i was to pick this up i would well essentially it would make you drink it before you could pick it up so i don't want to do that so i open the inventory and grab it it's a little easier on console because the buttons are a little more ergonomic and straightforward to to do that, because I'm holding L2 while the menu's open, and then moving the right joystick. Now, if I move the right joystick without holding L2, it just moves the cursor. And if I go to use the left stick to move around, it doesn't let me turn. Like, I can move around, but it, I can only do... Like, I'm always facing the same direction. And it's uh, vital for this process. Oh, you know what? I've got some dirty water somewhere. Here, we'll just put the fire out because I don't really need it. Oh, okay, here we go. So I've got more storage, right? This might be food. Or these might be empty coconuts. No, they're full. Whatever. It's just water left behind. And then if I needed the coconuts to make into flasks, I don't need them for that because I've got the clay stuff. And then these might be the empty ones. Because these you could keep the the coconut flesh, they don't go bad in this form if you crack them open and like half the coconut, the coconut meat inside will go bad. So I just, they're good for fats and I think a, maybe a little bit of protein and then just bones storage for that. Now maybe I put fish over here or if I've got oh, extra arrows, metal, cat fang, I can't use the cat fang for anything. All right, here we go. This is my medicine drawer got everything you need as far as I know there might be some other things but this right here the unknown flower it is dried I don't think it matters if it's dried or not this is the the infusion that helps with fever that's this right here so if, if I was to have the fire going and put these into some water it would cook and it would make that infusion and then this plant here you can eat it raw for minus two food poisoning. It gives you two carbohydrates, or you can put it, again, it's uh, this one. It gives you minus three food poisoning if you cook it. So that's always nice to have on hand. And what do I got in here? Just more bones. Bones, a little bit of wood resin, an obsidian, a bunch of dried leaves. I mean, this is the essential stuff. If I wanted to leave and go on an adventure somewhere, I would definitely want to have... Like, I have one of these in my pocket at all times. If I could help it, I like to carry charcoal because that also is good for food poisoning. It hurts your sanity a little bit to eat it. This is not supposed to be... There, there we go. And, yeah, and then the fish... Or the, the fish bones. You could use the... Uh, the bone needles, if I was to, for example, I don't know if it would make me do it, but let's just uh, see if I can figure out where it, will it let me sleep? It's not even going to let me sleep. I don't remember how to do it. 
Well, anyway, if I was to sleep on the ground, I forget how to how to go to sleep now. Crap! It's been a little while since I've attempted to do the thing, but well, anyway, if you sleep on the ground, you can get worms in your arms or your legs, and you have to poke them out with a bone needle or a fish bone, and then you'll have to bandage it, or it could get infected if you don't. Then you could it, you lose sanity. You could walk around with worms in your arms, and they they won't really hurt you, but you will. It'll lose sanity, and then when that happens, bad things can happen. If you get too low, you start seeing natives show up, and they're figments of your imagination. But when they hit you, it's real, and it hurts, and you can die. So anyway, this is just my base. Where I'm uselessly building a bridge for no no reason at all. There's absolutely no reason. I would have loved like I don't think I'll get the update. I heard uh, consoles not getting the new building update. I don't. I haven't confirmed that, but it that would be sad. But anyway, yep. This is my nice mud hut, mud fortress, and that's what this was. Is because I know I've seen the tribes people show up, and they like to come from that direction. So, I can get up here if I really need to, get a good vantage point. I have to be careful not to fall, because that is quite the ways. I can go this far. Like, that doesn't hurt. But yeah, I w was able to build over the water. That was a new feature. Yeah, I see you piranhas. There's so many. You can't kill them all. It's impossible. You could have a whole army of players, and I don't think that you could kill them all. And they hurt. I don't know if I did a video or anything where I showed what the piranhas do to you, but they can bite through your armor pretty quick and take your health down real fast. But yeah. Also, this was fun. I haven't done the mud pit since I, start I built this thing, but apparently I can. I can have that right there and still make mud just fine, which is kind of neat. Anyway, that's enough. I just wanted to show off this, the clay stuff because... Yeah, these things are also, they're kind of heavy, not going to lie. I haven't tested to see what the difference in weight is. Oh yeah, always have, if you have painkillers, it's good to have them. They're a lifesaver, for sure. I My goal in the series that I'd like to start is probably to do, you know, extreme difficulty, the permadeath, all of that, and see if I can manage to find my way. There's a science station and I think you have to acquire certain tools that you get in the map in order to make it to that location. And then in doing so, I could try to test some of these things. Like, I think if you put... Like, this is an unknown nut. Like, I know what it does. I've eaten it. I know i played. But it always says unknown nut. So I don't know how to just to discover if whether or not you can actually get it to tell you what the specific thing is, and I was thinking maybe that science lab might provide some of what I want. But anyway, so... Yes. Lovely armadillo. Actually, let's look at that. I am wearing all kinds of armadillo. I've got bone armor here because... And it's all in good shape. Like, this is 81... 92. I've done, like, the bone armors at 80, 79, so we're in good shape. I have been attacked by, you know, a jaguar, tiger, whatever. They do some damage, and then the natives also do some damage. Done some custom runs where I turned off the natives, but had it on the green hell difficulty, you know, had it on, uh, everything else was on, like predators, and I got destroyed by a jaguar twice. What the hell was that noise? I heard leaf rustlings. Oh, it might have been that. It might have been the, the armadillo over there. I'm not going to shoot it. I'm well out of practice at this point. It's been about a month or two since I played, so anyway, that's enough. That's enough of that gonna have to harvest these things soon I do have to check but the meters almost done I had the science down to almost exactly how many fertilizer it took to grow these bamboo I think it was like somewhere between 32 and 36 and of course this plant and that plant are permanent so I try to keep them well hydrated and well fertilized 
But yeah, you're going to want to grow bamboo if you build bamboo. This area has trees, but it's... They're gone. Like, I've cut most of them down. They haven't respawned yet, so... All right, anyway, good times. Let's go back down here. And again, you'll have to refill this. This is fun. I can just reach into my bag. That's the clean water, and we'll go like this. It actually, I could fill it from here, which is kind of amazing. I'll take that, just fill that back up. Ready to go. So I will have to make more mud and fill more of these in if I want to make more stuff. And I think you can still craft, like, the, the molds. That you can, you bake the molds in the, in the furnace there. And next item, next item. So, like, this one, if I wanted to, I could turn... Nope. Darn it. <laughs> I could turn my blade. This thing. I could turn the stone blade into... And add that to the mix... And then you're, well, the old way to do it is all of it in your crafting, right? You'd go to here, you'd put the stone blade, you'd put the mold, you'd craft it on this, you'd turn it into that, and then you'd add the the metal to it, and then once it's crafted, it goes into here, and then it comes out, and you break the mold, and you get your, you get your iron uh, axe, or blade, or axe, or whatever it is you, you ended up doing. And you could make armor out of it, too, like arm, metal armadillo armor. I haven't done it, at least not recently, but apparently metal stuff is the most durable. I don't know if, if you've never crafted it, though, you could probably take, like, that one armadillo armor I have is 92%, and then I put it into a mold and make the mold, and it'll be the first mold, so it'll be, like, 20%. Metal armor, I think. I'm not really sure. There is. I don't know if there's an infinite supply of metal in this game. I am going well beyond what I was trying to talk about before, but... Anyway, yes, this stuff. And then these things. It's delicious, lovely water. And I am carrying well too many of them. I wouldn't go anywhere with that many in my inventory. I'd only need two at most. I mean, one would be enough, but two would be good. Or, like, one of these bowls and one clay flask would be plenty. Or you could don't... You don't even have to do any of those things. It's just a fun little part of the update. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. This is Strategies with Sasquatch. I'm Josh, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. little tutorial and base, base build show-off. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.